We know whether you're filling up your tank or your family's freezer, skyrocketing inflation is making it hard for Americans to afford the basics. That's right, and soaring prices are forcing many to turn to food banks for help, but inflation is also making it harder for food pantries to stay fully stocked. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is live in Sandalwood right now. Aaron Farmshare is holding another food distribution event this morning. That one started a little before 9 o'clock. That's what time it was scheduled, but there were so many people here who are in need of food. They decided to start a couple of minutes early. You can see the distribution is happening at the front doors of the church right now. Plenty of cars uh, lined up, people coming through. This is a drive through event only. You can see the long line of cars that will wrap around and go through the entrance. But then take a look down the street. You can still see that there's a, a lot of cars waiting along the street here on Burns Road. This even wrapped all the way around the corner. There were people here as early as 6.30 this morning waiting to, uh, to get food here through farm share. Higher prices of food and other necessities are sending more families to pick up food at food banks and pantries. The same issues, including supply chain backups, are making it harder for the same food banks to stay stocked up for these events. Farm Share says more than 4 million people in Florida right now are living below the poverty line and experience food insecurity. According to Feeding America, food banks across the country are buying nearly as much food as they did last year. However, they are paying 40% more for that food. In the Labor Department's most recent consumer price index, the price of food at grocery stores in March was 10% higher than March of 2021, and price for food in restaurants was nearly 7% higher. We spoke to several people who are waiting in line to get food here. They say events like this go a long way for them. We were in the red all the time, and now we're, we're finally being able to at least get a little savings out of this. Yeah. You've heard of working poor, that's us. We're both working for a living, but we're still struggling and trying to get by. It's hard nowadays, the times are tough, and this helps us and helps a lot of people out there. And the other distribution event is happening right now at Jenkins Middle School in Palatka. Both events last until all of the food is given away. As we give you another live look at several drivers and people as they drive through getting some of the food from FarmShare right now. FarmShare is also preparing for another big food drive that's happening next Saturday. That's called Stamp Out Hunger. The way you can get involved in collecting uh, canned goods and non-perishable items is collecting them wherever you are. And then you can leave those items at your mail box or you can drop them off at a local post office and farm share will pick those up for that food drive that's happening next week reporting live i'm aaron for our channel 4, the local station